Have I seen this movie before? Let me think. The Lion King. It sounds really familiar. Wait a minute. Does this Lion King? Is that the same thing as this Lion King? Oh my god! Lion King remake was directed by Jon Favreau and star stars an all-star cast of Donald Glover, Beyonce, Seth Rogen, Billy Eichner, uh, Chabella Ejiofor, and James Earl Jones, and it's the same movie. There's really nothing more to tell. Uh, yeah, good review. Um, yeah, so same exact movie. Don't need to go see it. All right, I will. Pe peace. Fine, I guess I'll get into more details as to why you probably shouldn't go see this remake. So this film tells the exact same story. Simba, Simba the lion is born and has to uh, grow up in, his, in this world of like, you know, lions, gazelles, uh, angry, bro angry uncles, uh, and stuff like that. And how he has to deal with being king and like all that kind of stuff. Uh, inspired a little bit by Hamlet, but honestly not exactly like Hamlet. So don't really think that in terms of story wise, but it does take inspiration from that. If you have seen the original movie, I cannot understate this enough. It is the same movie through and through, line for line, shot for shot, scene for scene, score for score, every single thing is the same. I can't stress that enough. Okay, before we get into all the negatives of this, I am going to say the visuals of this film are incredibly breathtaking. My god, this film is incredible. The amount of detail in this film is just I've never seen anything like it even Jungle Book like despite how amazing that looks it still can't hold a candle to just the amazingness of this like I can't say that enough what the animators have achieved here just how photorealistic realistic everything looks is freaking incredible and easily deserve the Oscar unless they count this as an animated film I have no idea how that's going to work it's either they're going to win for animated film or for best visual effects I honestly have no idea how this will work voice cast as well everyone was fantastic in their roles it was perfectly casted I loved practically everyone um i wish though that the film had utilized donald glover and beyonce way more and i'm going to get into that trust me i have a lot to talk about so yeah like i stated in the beginning this film is the same through and through like i was kind of shocked how much the same it is literally it is the same movie there is little to no difference like the tiny minute tiny minute little things that are added to extend the runtime and make it new and its own thing. No, it's just a couple of added lines. Like there's some things that are like just drawn just a little bit longer. And then the only actual subplot, whatever you want to call it, that's added is at one point Scar is like, yo, Sarabi, now your husband's dead. Why don't you marry me instead? That way, like, I know, that way, like, you know, we can all live happily, peacefully. Comes right the hell out of nowhere and does nothing at all for the plot. Literally, you could cut that out, nothing would have been missed. It's literally one scene and then half of another scene. It's like five lines of dialogue. It's completely unnecessary, adds absolutely nothing to it. I have no idea why they added it. Oh wait, to extend the runtime and make it its own thing and make it stand out from the original. God, this film pisses me off. So I have a list of everything while I was watching the movie of, yeah, just things that made me mad and how just like, it's the same thing. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know how and I don't know why, but James Earl Jones as Mufasa this time around, it I don't know if it's just his age or if it's just because it's the same thing. It didn't have like the like care I, like the vocalization that that Mufasa needs. It's like the deepness of his voice is there, but just really everything else about his character just isn't really there. Like even like in the famous gorge scene, like just the way that like you know he cries out for help and like all that other stuff. It's just not there, and it's the weirdest thing. Like, I don't I don't get it. I don't know if it was... Because it's it's the biggest mystery of the film, and, like, some people might not have noticed it, but I noticed it because I watched the original earlier today. Like, there's just a very clear distinction. Um, again, I don't know if it's the age or if it's just because it's the same thing. I have no idea. It's just one of the biggest question marks. The realism. 
Dear God, it is beautiful, but it is a total detriment to the film. It is just a detriment to the film. Because of how realistic everything looks, they had to take a lot of liberties when it came to, like, emotions, musical numbers, visuals. Like, so much was sacrificed to make it look realistic, and honestly, I don't think it was worth it for that. Literally, every scene, everyone has the same facial emotions, no matter what. <laughs> Even in the famous Gorge scene with what happens, if you know what happens, you know what happens. And like, you know, Simba's reaction, he doesn't look sad! I'm confused! Literally, in Mowgli, the Netflix version of The Jungle Book, directed by Annie Serkis, at least there, he like, you know, tried to characterize the characters' faces to allow them to emote, so that way they weren't just normal animals, but here... They are all normal animals, so whenever they emote, literally, it's the same thing. In Jeremy John's review of The Jungle Book, he said this... Most of the time, this movie does accurately emulate lion emotion in the face. That's a lion's happy face. That's a lion's sad face. That's a lion's confused face. See what I'm getting at? That is the truth. That is exactly what it is. They look the same through and through in every kind of emotion, like laughter, sadness, anger. It, it all looks the same. It's kind of mind-boggling. Musical numbers, like, the music is the same damn thing. Nothing has changed. Vo uh, people singing, they're doing a great job. Um, love their voices, they're great. But, like, just musical, like, musical moment-wise, completely sucks. Like, because of how real it is, you cannot go to the cartoonish levels of the musical numbers like they did in the original. In the original, like, you know, it went full, like, anime musical, just, like, every, like, you know, crazy thing that could happen did happen. Just, like, it was a visual marvel to look at. Here, it's just, they run and sing. That's pretty much it. They either run and sing or just, they just stand and sing. It is so boring. Be prepared. That sucked. Wow. How do you screw up one of the most famous Disney villain songs of all time? By completely changing it. Now, granted, some of it's the same, but much shorter, not as much singing in it. Again, just standing and singing, or like a little bit of prancing and singing. Completely cut out the hyenas singing in the song, and just like, it sucked. <laughs> nothing again, uh, nothing, not now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Singing-wise, it was great. The vocalists, they were great. Everyone was great when singing it. But in terms of musical-wise, it sucked. It was just... I was kind of shocked. It's like one of the most famous Disney villain songs of all time. And this is how you redo it? This. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. It sucked. Because nothing is changed in the lines, like, the biggest character that, like, this is a detriment to is Scar. Because if you remember quite well, Jeremy Irons as Scar is one of the best Disney villains, and it's because of his performance. The theatrics and how overdramatic he is about everything just makes it so memorable. It's just so classic villain of just, like, Oh, I'm over the top. Oh, Simba. It's, like, completely over the top and kind of crazy, but that's why it's so good. Here... The dialogue is exactly the same, so going with Joel Ejiofor's more, like, you know, menacing and dark tone, it doesn't work, because it doesn't have that same, like, theatrics to it. So, they don't, since they don't change the lines, it just seems weird. It seems off. I don't know why they didn't change the lines, like, it's not that difficult. I don't know, I guess they found some, figured some die-hard fans of The Lion King are gonna be mad if some lines were changed. Yeah, the Gorge scene, nowhere near as epic or just as anything as the original. Just like, even like, the shot of the stampedes, like, going down can't even hold a candle to the original. Just, and like, it's not just how realistic everything looks, it's also, like, just the lighting is off, the size of it is off, and like, even when the stampede is like, you know, running around, it's just like, this doesn't look that bad, like, you could walk through that. But like, in the original, it's like... Fucking chaos! It's just chaos everywhere! So it's like, oh no, they're gonna die. Here's just like, they'll no probably, they'll be fine. And then they're not. It's weird. It's, it's, it pales in comparison. It, it sucks. Do card hit she was take? Can, can, can you read my handwriting? I don't know if it's focused, but like, I can't even read that. <laughs> oh! Speaking of rushing, even though this is a 30 minute longer version of it, somehow it feels the exact same length 
and it doesn't at the same time. It is the weirdest thing ever. And yet, even with this extended runtime, the romance between Simba and Nala is rushed even faster than the original. Now, if you've seen the original, you know that it's just, like, they're friends, like, when they're kids, and then, like, you know, they meet each other, they share a couple of lines, and, like, bam, love song, instantly in love. Here's just, like, Francis kids see each other, it's like, ah, oh, Simba, ah, oh, Nala, time for the love song! What? Like, there's no build-up at all to their romance. And, like, this is my big, this was my biggest problem with the original, which is, like, there's nothing built up for their romance, so it's just, like, I guess they're in love. Time for the love song. Here, it's just like, Simba, Nala, can you feel the love tonight? What? It's the biggest question mark of all. It's like, you have a much longer running time, and yet you don't utilize it. What? And can you feel the love tonight takes place during the day. What? It makes no sense. And again, just like with Be Prepared and pretty much all the other musical numbers, it sucks because they're just standing and singing, and because you can't see emotions in their faces, it doesn't work at all. Again, did no one give anyone working on this film a note of saying, it's like, can we maybe add some emotion to their faces? Like, I don't understand why this was difficult for them to do. Oh, ooh. One of the moments that pisses me off the most, if you remember in the original, the moment of, like, you know, when Simba sees his dad, like, in the clouds, like, just, just this giant, epic, like, you know, crazy moment of just, just sends shivers down your spine. <laughs> ha! Don't even think that this is gonna do that justice at all. It's, you know, you see Mufasa? No, it ain't Mufasa, buddy. It's a fucking cloud. That's all it is. It's just a cloud. And, like, you might see a lighting and you could see a face. Nope, just a cloud. Dear God, how the hell did you mess that up so badly? This film, I know i got gotten into a lot into the film, but it's the same film from 1994. If you haven't seen that version by now, like, then I don't know what you're doing. Go see that version. Don't see this version. This version is exactly the same as that version, and that version is way better than this version because this version is the same version as that one, but this has a fresh coat of paint, and sadly, it's a worse coat of paint. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Everything the film does, it does exactly the same, but not as good, which is a problem. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> how are, how is it exactly the same with nothing added? I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. Ah, my brain just hurts. <laughs> so yeah, the Lion King remake, um, big load of disappointment. Uh, completely unnecessary. If you're just like, you know, a diehard Lion King fan and have just been waiting and waiting for this movie to come out, then by all means, go see it, enjoy yourself. If you've loved the original and you want the film to be the same, then you're gonna love this. But if you're like me and we're hoping maybe, just maybe, for something a little bit, maybe, maybe some amount of difference to it, maybe something changed or something added, no, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Everything is the same, nothing is added, nothing is changed. It's all the same. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. I'm losing my damn mind. It's the exact same thing. So, yeah, the same thing just looks realistic, which is a detriment to it. And yeah, I'm just very mad and disappointed right now. I'm going to give the Lion King remake a 5 out of 10. I'm much harsher on this one because, A, it's an animated remake of a classic, and it does everything the exact same with nothing different. It's the same damn thing. I can't state that enough. Please listen to me. If there's anything you take away from this, please just take away it's the same thing. I can't state this enough. Oh my god. Okay, it's late. I'm gonna go bed. I need to just think about this. I just need to think about like, how have we gotten to this point in these remakes where it's just the same thing and it's going to make money. Please, if you see this review, pass this review on, share it with everyone. Let them know it's the same thing so that way they don't waste their money. Please, help. This isn't, this isn't for the channel. This is just for humanity. Please, just let the world know that it's the same thing. Nothing has changed. Nothing is added. It's the same thing, just with a different voice cast and a fresh coat of paint that makes it worse somehow. I don't know how, but please, by all means, just share this so that way people know. That way people know the truth. Please, if Disney tries to silence me, don't let them silence me. Keep spreading the word. Just please. Ah! <laughs> so yeah, like, share, subscribe. Let the world know it's the same thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, peace. Goodbye. Disney, please don't kill me.